I think its days of brushing teeth are over. Hello and welcome to this week's video. Before I start, a little call out to Peggy from PF Wood Turning. Thank you, Peggy, for the sticker. Great design, it's gonna look great when I get my wall finally organized. I'll put a link below. Uh, check out Peggy's work. Also on Facebook as well. Um, and a quick reminder before we get into today's project um, about the Chestnut Wood Turning Weekender. Again, description and links below. It'd be great to see many of you there. Right, I'm going to try out some acrylic metallic paints today. No, that should be metallic acrylic paints. Paints acrylic metallic. Anyway, you know what I mean. Um, and as I was halfway through this week's video um, using my toothbrush, I suddenly remembered I'd seen something very similar by David Lowe at UKIS last year. So thank you, David. You did it with some acrylic waxes, I think. So mine's slightly different. Anyway, hope you enjoy the video. So here we are with the first of the two blanks that I'm going to use the metallic paints on, but I'm going to put them over um, a base colour. For this one, going with yellow spirit stain, putting it on a bit roughly, patchy, mottled, I guess would be the technical term to use. And then over that, a little bit of orange, going in some of the gaps, overlapping in places. And then I'll finish off with a little bit of red, um, it does mean that there's still a little bit of bare wood left and if I were to put it on with the tissue um, maybe I'd blend the colours together, maybe that wouldn't matter, but I've got airbrushes. So it was time to crank out one of the airbrushes and then just put a bit of yellow over the whole of the back and the front, making sure that I cover up all of the, the blank bits of wood. And then on with the metallic paint. And this is straight as it comes from the tube. Uh, metallic copper going on with the brush here all over the back and the front as well and you can see it's matting down the finish because it's water-based rather than spirit based uh, it doesn't have the sheen but that'll come back when we put the lacquer on and then spattering who doesn't love a good spatter with a toothbrush and I used gold bronze copper white and silver metallic paints they don't show up too well on the video here, so the still images at the end hopefully will give a clearer idea of that. And then a bit of sanding sealer, and over the top of that when that had dried, three coats of chestnut acrylic gloss lacquer. And then when that had dried, the whole thing was burnished as well, bringing up the shine nicely. So that's version number one, experiment number one. On to experiment number two. And this one is done on a slightly shallower blank, which you'll see um, from the close-ups at the end. Ebonizing lacquer on first, and then very watered down metallic copper paint. Leaving that to dry, I did put a couple of coats of, of that on. Uh, quite like the little blobby bits that were left. Um, as it dried though, they tended to pop. So I thought I'd dab it down a little bit with a bit of tissue and getting a nice sort of cloudy effect. It sort of reminded me of some of those wonderful shots of nebula that you see from the Hubble telescope or wherever they're taken. And then, yes, I probably did get a bit carried away, putting my spattering over the top of that, white, silver, gold, copper, and bronze. If I'd had red, I might even have added that as well. But anyway, it was good to practice small scale. Hope you like them. Well, here we have it, two tea lights finished. Two different variations of the same theme. Uh, so I've given you a nice dilemma again this week, deciding which one you like best. You don't have to have a preference, but I think I prefer the black, uh, black one. Um, and I think I'm gonna give that a go on a bigger scale, on a platter rim. I do like this one, I think it's, uh, well, the close-ups perhaps give, it, uh, give you a clearer impression of it. I like it, but I don't think it has the, quite the same wow factor or yuck factor, depending on your personal tastes, as the other one. Um, probably it would work better as well on a wider rim, being able to see more um, of the variation in the colour. And there, there's a lot of depth in there and mixture of colours going on. So certainly I'll use these techniques again, but it was fun just trying out some metallic acrylic paints. 
I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching. And before I start, a call out to Peggy Farrington of PF Wood Turning. Thank you for the sticker, Penny. Peg. Ah, <sighs> uh, now for something calming, soothing, peaceful. Goodbye.